just that one video last week. I know, I know. Normally I do like at least two uploads a week, but uh, last week I signed another client and I don't know, I was just really focusing on like the business and trying to scale it, like trying to see like what are the options in terms of like getting people on like to work for Brand Panay. So get like uh, people to do like, to outsource some of the work to, stuff like that. Just really see like, okay, how far can I like push this in terms of like scalability, is that a word? Anyway guys, back on the uploads again or back on like, like recording the, the the journey basically of me building my own business. So a uh, plan for today is I've got a workout with Bochu, also known as BM Fitness. After that, we're going to discuss some things in terms of like Facebook ads and stuff like that because he is uh, doing some stuff behind the scenes as well, and he is also sort of like indirectly um, working for a client of mine. So I'm going to discuss some things with Facebook ads and how he can like promote his. Is a little business online as well, so I'm gonna do that. Then I've got another client meeting, just like a weekly check-in with this client who just wants to know, like, you know, what's what I've been up to this last week in terms of growing his business. Uh, what else have I got today? Oh, yeah, I need to send two proposals to two potential clients who probably will sign this week. So I'll have two more extra clients this week. So yeah, business is going good. And obviously I do need to put a lot of work in. So that is why I wasn't as active on like YouTube and Instagram and Instagram stories and all that last week because I need to put in systems in place to get stuff up and running and you know make it scalable basically. So enough chit chat. I'm not gonna record the, the workout because like we're gonna focus, gonna be an offline workout, so no recording, no Instagram stories, not like that. We are gonna focus and make some gains and after meeting time. Hey guys, meeting with what you've done, the files are sent. What's up guys? It was great meeting with Joshua again. It's always nice to sit down with his lad and we just talked about social media, branding, and learn some new things. Big projects coming up, so I'm excited, man. Let's go. More things coming soon, guys. More things coming soon. Well, so our Instagram has gone quite well, to be honest. We've gained roughly 250 followers this week. And our monthly average is a thousand, so we keep this up. We'll gain around a thousand followers a week, which is fine. Um, a little bit more insight into the type of followers. What we could do is we could connect a pixel to uh, the website, and then just just track what kind of people, uh, like go onto the website, what kind of people are interested, because mostly the people that are, are on the website are warm leads. And then from there we can retarget people with the same like demographics and interests as the people that are on the website. Yeah. Just got the phone with a client's already signed, just like a weekly check in, like I said earlier, and now I'm following up on a few uh, leads that I've got. Like there's there's one or two like potential clients that I've sort of said like oh yeah we will you know we will definitely do this going forward i'm just following up on them just seeing like you know where are we are you know they've said yeah but you know like the sort of like keep postponing the like the agreement part and uh like when i when i offer like to send like a proposal or like a strategy um document where like i break down what i'm going to do for me sort of like i would just hold off on that just for now uh just let me get uh, this and this sorted first and then going forward we can definitely work together in the future and uh, i get this quite a lot like obviously you've got like you've got linkedin you've got instagram you've got facebook you've got email you've got uh like the, the mobile phone you've got so many different ways of contacting clients like how do you make sure that you keep them all in order and like you know like how you spoke to that person and for that i just use like an excel sheet and uh obviously can't show you my original one so i'll just show you guys uh, the copied version which is this so this is basically what i use uh, just an easy simple excel sheet uh, company name so yeah type in uh, like the company i'm contacting the first name and the last name of the person i'm in contact with this can be either a gatekeeper or the actual owner itself i'll put that in brackets so like uh, let's say his name's john smith and then i'll put like john smith brackets gatekeeper brackets owner or you know whatever like that mobile you've contacted by mobile email address i've got his email address date of last contact which is great like a great way of um like 
staying up to date with stuff like this. Like, say, for example, I email them and say, oh, listen, uh, you know, we talked last Wednesday and we talked through the phone or we, we spoke by email and I said this, this and this. It was just an easy way of, like, carrying on the conversation, basically, because it, it's a bit weird, you know, if, if I say, like, oh, yeah, we spoke on the phone last Wednesday and, you, and you'll say, like, no, we didn't, you know, I sent you a... Uh, LinkedIn direct message or something like that. It was just an easy way to, to don't make that mistake of uh, get mixed up with all these different clients and meetings and uh, conversation because it is a numbers game at the end of the day. Like you will, like there's a small chance that you'll land your very first client on the very first conversation on the very first uh, moment of contact. You know, like you do need to follow up on meetings. You do need to um, like create rapport. You know, build a relationship with. Uh, potential clients because you never know when they say like listen you know we seem like a good fit let's work together and uh, this like it's just an excel sheet but it's just an easy way to stay up to date with this not my idea i got it from isaac marley whose youtube name is let kind aesthetics fitness i seen him do this on uh, like his youtube channel a few months back and i thought you know what let's just do it let's let's create a document like that myself anyway a bit of a laptop slash computer video a lot of meetings a lot of just boring stuff uh, but like i said like i am just documenting the journey just trying to show you guys like what i'm getting up to and also um i spoke to quentin chad who is a canadian social media marketer and just told me like why do youtube you know what is it like it's it's not fame it's it's, it's got nothing to do with like getting so many subscribers and stuff like that obviously subscribers is great you know if people get some kind of inspiration from your channel that's great but the whole reason why we do YouTube is just documenting what we're doing for ourselves. Like it's it's like a sort of like video diary for yourself to look back on and just see like okay, I done this and this and you know it didn't work out, but I learned from it in this and that way. Or do the way around, you know, like maybe it do, like it does become a success and you can look back on how it started off. It's just a great way to reminisce, basically. Uh, that's my rant over, to be honest. So for the rest of the week, uh, today is Monday. I'm actually uploading this right away. So, uh, like, you're going to watch this on a Monday. Then this all happened today. Tomorrow, I've got another meeting with, uh, like, an already existing client just to go over um, some strategies for Facebook ads. Uh, they've been with me for a few weeks now, and they do want to, like, they do see the, the, the potential in Facebook ads, and they do want to bring out a few ads. So I'm going to meet up with them. Wednesday, what have I got on Wednesday? Let's see. Wednesday, just another day of me sitting in my room, uh, getting a lot of work done. I'm actually looking into doing like another course, maybe do um, like a course on coaching or sales or anything like that. Let you know if I do. Thursday, got to work, and Friday I've got a meeting with a photographer who's actually gonna like teach me some stuff on photography, just so I can get like better photos and stuff like that. Uh, and in return, I'm gonna show here how to um, create like easy videos, like promotional videos and stuff like that. So, you know, just uh, sharing the knowledge, basically. Saturday, another you know, meeting, Sunday, I am in work, because I've still got a part-time job in the gym, which uh, I am still enjoying, but obviously brand panier is getting bigger and bigger, so I will need to see and I like, just decide what I'm gonna do with that, basically. So anyway, guys, not much of an interesting video, but uh, I, I did say, a few videos ago, like just mind it, uh, like document this journey, like the journey in this like form, and people said no, we actually do like the boring days like this. So uh, there, there you go, I guess. Um, let me know in the comments down below, like what you want to see for my channel next. Like I do want to provide as much value as possible, and like last week I went live, got a few little good little questions. So let me know if you want want me to do more lives, and just let me know, guys, like what you want to see for my channel, like. I don't mind documenting the journey, but that's obviously just for myself. If I can provide some type of value or advice in any way, shape, or form, let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoy the like the boring work days. And also, if you made it this far into the video, comment your Instagram name in like the, the comments down below and I will follow you back because I'm really big on community building and I do think that like together we will go so much further. Anyway, on your back to where thanks again for watching us. Hope to see you soon. Gotta do what I gotta do.